have some quick tips for staining a nucleic acid paints gel, such as with Cyber Gold, without ripping things. Take a piece of saran wrap that will cover the surface of your staining container. Um, I like using a bigger container because it's easier to um, manipulate things and since you're using the, the saran wrap, it'll still kind of concentrate your stain. Um, so pour in the stain. It's easier to put your gel onto the stain than to try to pour the stain onto your gel um, because you can help the gel go cleaner into the stain um, by kind of using surface tension. So when you take off your cassette, like do it carefully so that it sticks to one side of the cassette. If you're using one of these that has this little, like a plastic one that has a slot, kind of like push it through, help it get in contact with the surface of the stain and then kind of like gently ease it down. Make sure it's kind of like it's covered in the gel. And now what you want to do is you want to stick your foil over it because this gel, this stain is going to be light sensitive. You're using a plastic stain. And so you want to stick foil over it um, and then just go stick it on your shaker. And um, for the cyber gold, they say like 10 to 40 minutes, but really within a couple minutes, you should be able to see things. You can leave it longer for greater sensitivity. Um, but note that if you have a really low concentration of things, make sure you load a low volume of the a ladder because um, you don't want your ladder to like totally overshadow everything. Now when it comes to actually go stain your gel, all you have to do is you pull this off and now you can transfer your gel onto your imager and then you can take it directly from the imager onto your UV tray. Um, all, and you can actually do the cutting. You have a saran wrap underneath. You can stick another piece just so you make sure that you're not cutting into the tray. Um, and all of this you're able to do without having to actually manipulate the gel anymore so you um, don't have to risk actually tearing it anymore. Um, another word about the stain is that, um, so Cyber Gold is going to be like your most sensitive stain, at least of the Cyber line. Um, and so I'm using it for detecting like small amounts of RNA. You can also use it for small amounts of DNA, double-stranded or single-stranded. Uh, Cyber Green will give you double-stranded DNA and stuff like this. Um, the tubes, the vials, what you can do is they're basically like, at least for the Cyber Gold, it's 10,000 X. So what I do is I put five microliters into 50, micro, 50 milliliters of my um, TBE media. Um, so I actually run in like 0.5 uh, times TBE. Um, and you can basically just either take it directly from the running buffer or if you're trying to be um, cleaner, if you're actually trying to go purify things out, you can pour um, some fresh TBE in. doesn't need to be exact in terms of the 10,000X, so I just estimate to the 50 mil line. Remember though, these lines aren't totally accurate, so don't, um, don't rely on them in terms of actual measurements, but for this it really doesn't matter. Um, but anyway, so for those five microliters, um, since you, what you can do to make things handy so you don't have to keep freeze-thawing that tube is what you can do is you can make little aliquots and so you can make and aliquot out like five microliter portions. This is where a multi-channel or a repeat pipetter comes in really, really handy. Um, so just the first time you thaw the vial, because it can take a while, um, and just pipette out these five microliter portions and freeze them in little micro, little centrifuge tubes, um, those little tiny ones um, in a vial, and then you don't have to keep freeze thawing it as much. Um, remember that when you're working with these stains that you want to always keep everything covered um, with foil to prevent them from getting exhausted before they can get a chance to get excited by the light um, that you want them to get excited by so that they'll get, get off, give off light that you can see. Um, which is the basis of fluorescence. Also, if you're not trying to like purify the stuff out of it So you're not worried about like cross-contamination. You can actually reuse the stain um, Just make sure you keep it in the fridge um, covered with foil and store it in the buffer and not in water It's more stable in that like TBE than in just water and so hopefully this helped you understand how to um, Some tips for staining your gels without ripping them um, and happy staining